What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, we have to talk about the curveball our good old friend Hassan from Blue Box Game Studios has thrown us. So he likes to answer things on Twitter, kind of here and there, and uh, this is pretty disappointing and also, I guess, kind of enlightening. And so it's something that I think I want to talk about. So there was a couple things that kind of caught me, uh, like just caught my eye, I guess I should say, right, about his uh, his answers. But one that really stood out is yesterday, or actually, well, depending on when you guys are seeing this, August 6th, somebody asked him, hyped for the abandoned reveal whenever it is or whatever it is, are we still on for August 10th? And he said, on August 10th, you'll gain access to the app along with the opening teaser. The first trailer reveals later this month. <laughs> so, all right, I want to read one other thing because I found it interesting, and then we'll we'll talk about both. Somebody said PSVR 2, question mark, and he said maybe. So that's interesting. I guess the final thing is somebody asked him if it was going to be physical or digital or one or the other, and he said it will be available both physically um, and digitally, which is, I'll, let's start with that one because I think that's maybe the least important, but it's also worthy of talking about. It is important because you're seeing a lot with these indie games, one of them being, one of them like recently being Kina, Kina Bridge of Spirits. I'm very high on that game. I've talked about that game quite often on this channel. I'm pumped for it, but it's only digital on release. Uh, and then eventually, maybe it'll be physical, but it's not. Ha so, you know, I think it's just the age we're kind of in with video games and maybe because of the stuff around the world where some of these indie games just flat, which is bad. I mean, that's you know, the whole preserving, you know, games and having games be around for a long time, which they really probably won't be because nobody's doing it. That kind of stuff, you know, ends up, you can see it in real time, basically, right? With games like that only being available digitally. So the fact, what I'm trying to get through, the fact that this small game, in, again, quote unquote, very small game, you know, small indie project is going to be available both seems like it's not an indie project okay again maybe that's me reaching but whatever you know at, at this point you guys know where i stand and all that psvr2 very interesting that he says maybe i mean look if it is a sign I'm, I'm not gonna say it is but if it is a silent hill game first person you could do a first person silent hill game like pt and then if you did it as a vr game which is kind of what we've heard sony wants to do right they want to make it a they want to make vr games just triple a games and you can play it you know the way i guess the base game is or you can actually play it in vr so that's interesting but the biggest thing and the reason i ended up making this video is so we're not even getting you know a full trailer now i guess i kind of expected that like i feel like well no i don't feel like we knew that because i'm pretty sure what was supposed to happen was it was supposed to be a full-on trailer uh and remember it was supposed to be like trailers and gameplay and this and that throughout the summer that was the original thing but that's back when it was supposed to happen i believe in june right late june and then it was pushed um you know to august 10th so this is disappointing in the way that you know we're not getting the full thing but at the same time the overall plan was always to kind of spread it out so i'm not going to get furious about it but i will say a couple um notable things i like you know things that popped into my head well number one it's still good news because we're gonna get a teaser trailer of some kind so we're gonna be well, okay technically he doesn't say trailer he says opening he says uh, you'll gain access to the app, which technically we already do. It's just you can't do anything on it with an opening teaser. So I, I do consider that like a teaser trailer. He's just not saying the word, uh, you know, 10, 20, 30 seconds, something like that. I would honestly kind of imagine it's still going to have, I would imagine, more questions than answers, but it's going to give us stuff to talk about. And that's very exciting. The first trailer reveals later this month. Well, OK, OK, this is not reaching. This is, I just think, very uh, like I just feel like you can easily put this together if you know the situation. You know what's at the end of this month is Gamescom. Gamescom 2021. Gamescom runs, I believe, from August 25th through the 29th or 28th, something like that. It's like a four-day event. The 25th, I believe, is a Wednesday. Jeff Keighley, and, and, and this all comes together, right? You guys can probably sense it already. Jeff Keighley is doing Gamescom, right? He's running it kind of like, well, running it in a way. He did it last year. Basically, they're going to have a opening day live stream, which they also did last year, where it's pretty much like the Summer Game Fest live stream. It's like the Game Awards live stream. It's a two-hour event. He's going to show games that are coming out this fall. He's going to show games that are coming out a little bit later. He's going to show games we already know about. He's going to show brand new games, right? Again, kind of the... Uh, the schematics of all of the Jeff Keighley events. Well, Hassan literally says the first trailer reveals later this month. Now, that doesn't mean the end of the month, but Gamescom, by the time Abandoned gets, you know, shown this upcoming Tuesday, we only got two weeks. 
two weeks left until Gamescom. So you show the teaser. Two weeks and a day later is Gamescom with Jeff Keighley. Who does Jeff Keighley love? Hideo Kojima. What could potentially you know make this all happen? If Hideo Kojima is behind Abandon, is behind Blue Box, and they show whatever this game is at Gamescom. Honestly, I could see this game happening at Gamescom either way because it could be bigger than we think it is, right? Or like, like you and me, or people that I guess believe this stuff, right? Me and others, we believe it's much bigger. That would fit a Jeff Keighley show because you have to have a couple big things to kind of um, bookend them or just have there be, you know, big, exciting things at your show. But also, even if it is a small game, even if it's nothing, if it is, again, Blue Box is Blue Box, you know, Hassan is Hassan, it's not Hideo, any of that stuff. Uh, you know, Jeff Keighley still does like to do indie games and smaller games and show them off at his show. So it still actually works no matter how you rationalize it to yourself. So that would be my, uh, that would be my prediction. I am disappointed we don't get the full trailer. It doesn't seem like we're going to get anything between this upcoming Tuesday and I would imagine Gamescom, which is also weird and disappointing. But that's kind of my prediction. Tuesday, teaser trailer. We may be able to figure it out from that. We may not. Two weeks later, two weeks and a day, right, 15 days later, Gamescom opening day live stream. I will be co-streaming it, by the way, so we can all watch it together. That'll be really exciting. You guys can come to this channel, and uh, we'll watch it. And uh, well, I, I really do assume that we're going to see the full trailer. We would see the name of it, maybe get a release date, so on. We'll talk about it more you know, as we get closer and once Tuesday happens, but that's how I could very easily uh, see it happening. So let me know what you guys think, uh, as always, in the comments. Make sure, if you haven't already, and you guys have been doing this nonstop, and I cannot thank you enough, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you guys have the bell icon turned on. Follow me on Twitter if you guys want. A great place. I, I love talking to you guys over on Twitter. Podcast Now 15. I have a second channel called Podcast Now Plus. Both those links are in the description below, along with our Patreon and YouTube memberships. They're also in the description if you guys want to check them out. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you all on the next video.